Brian Gillespie, Able Distributors. Today we're talking about the Bosch 96% furnace, the BGH 96. So let's get into some of the things that I just absolutely love about this furnace. And then we're going to take off the doors. We're going to take a deeper dive. So right off the bat, you got to know it's a three-way, no downflow. Horizontal left, horizontal right, upflow, no downflow. It's a two-stage design. It comes with an LP kit included in every furnace. I like that. It just saves trouble down the road. Right out of the box, it comes with five-year parts. Now, you're going to want to register this because when you register it, it goes to 10. Kind of important. Right out of the box, the heat exchangers got a 20-year warranty. Again, you're going to want to register it because then it goes to lifetime. Kind of important. In 2024, we're talking a lot about ComEd rebates in our neck of the woods. To get the ComEd rebate with the 2.0, you're going to have to pair it with a furnace. So we've got the coil, we've got the furnace, we've got the outdoor unit. You can get that pairing done. We have other options, 15 and 18 here. If you don't qualify for the rebate and you just want a down and dirty complete package, we got you covered there too. The heat exchanger on this, the primary is an aluminized steel, just like you'd find in a million other furnaces out there. The secondary, I really like this, the secondary is stainless steel, so I love that a lot. This furnace comes in a couple different sizes you're going to see. So the 60,000, 17 and a half, pretty normal. The 80,000, you have a choice between a three ton or a four ton drive, whether you want a 17 and a half or a 21 inch cabinet. We're going to stock both these so you have a choice. The 100, same thing, 21 inches wide or 24 and a half. So it really allows you to pick the right one for your installation. I like that. It, less transitions just makes life easier. The 21 is a four ton, the 24 and a half is a five ton. And then, of course, we have a 120,000 BTU, 24 and a half inch wide. So I like that. I like that you got a couple options in a few of these sizes. I like that a lot. You're not just stuck with one thing. And the, the trap is external. So it's a trap that we're kind of all used to. If you've been installing furnaces for a while, a trap is uh, an external mounted trap. I like that a lot. It does give you a bracket for when you put it in a horizontal position. You can still use the uh, same trap. And... <laughs> Obviously, they give you more than enough hoses to make sure that any configuration you're going to run, you're covered. That's it in a nutshell. Let's open it up. Check out the inside. Now we're inside the upper compartment. Now, what I like about this is, A, the upper door has a window just like the lower door does. And I think that's kind of unique. That way, if a homeowner is there and they want to call you and they can look through and say, no, I don't see any flame. I see glowing, but no flame or whatever it is. It's kind of nice. Gas valve is obviously set up for gas to come in from the left, but there's ample room to make the U-turn and take it out the, the, uh, the other side. The inducer motor, nothing special, nothing outrageous here. If you've ever installed a 90% furnace before, you're gonna feel familiar in this cabinet. One of the things I do like is they already have it already piped and up and out the top of the furnace. I love that, it just saves you grief it makes it super, super simple since 90% of the installs are upflow. To have that thing already figured out, I absolutely love it. One of the things that I geek out on a little bit is this little plastic cover that it comes with to stop debris from falling down in the inducer motor. If your luck is like mine, that little cap comes in handy. It's got a double pressure switch off the collector box, and the collector box is see-through. It's very, very see-through. You can see every single hole on that secondary heat exchanger. I like that a lot. It gives you an indication of what's going on. So when you're there to diagnose, yes, you'll have the, the lights down below, the, the flashing lights, but being able to see what's going on without guessing, I like a lot. And it seems like they use one of these as almost a float switch to the, the, the collector box got too full. It would interrupt this pressure switch and let you know that there's a problem. I like that a lot. Easy connections for the drains that you do have to connect. So you'll either connect here if it's horizontal or here if it's upflow. There's a connection down here in the corner. If it's an upflow, it's up over here. If it's a horizontal, um, and that's it. That's inside of the cabinet. Floor door safety switch I like. It's very, very heavy duty. 
two screws to keep that lower door tight no matter what. I like that a lot. Let's look at the bottom part. So again, even the lower door has a little window I really like a lot, and it's a good size window so you can see the codes before taking off the door. I like that a lot. And again, down here again, blower door safety switch, pretty simple. I like that it's, it's got screws on each side to keep it tight. A simple mounted transformer, again, nothing weird. It's got an X13 ECM motor. So again, kind of standard, but durable, reliable. It's what we all like. Easy connections for all your low voltage. I mean, honestly, it's everything you'd expect in a 96% furnace from Bosch. <laughs>